All right, Caleb, what game are we playing today? Seven Wonders. Ooh, Seven Wonders. Do you like Seven Wonders? Yeah. And why? Uh, because it's just a thinking game to which cards you want to get. Yeah. And to see what card would help you later in the game. Ooh, you have to plan ahead? Yeah. Ooh, okay. Well, as I look at this table, it looks kind of confusing. What have you got in front of you? Yeah. This is your wonder at the bottom. Yeah. Some have, some have four, some have two, and most of them have three. So there's different parts of your wonder, and they're both double-sided, or they're all double-sided? They're all double-sided. But none of them are the same. Yeah. Is that what makes it cool? Yeah. But as I look at them, there's a lot of different symbols, huh? Yeah. So I see all these cards in front of you. What do those numbers on the cards show? Um, the ages. This is the first age, second age, and third age. Ooh, three ages of your civilization. And then there's a lot of tokens there. Yeah. These, right, this, 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 and this are your armor or attack tokens. Those are the attack tokens? Yeah. And these are, this is your money. So you got attack tokens, you got money, you got civilization cards. Wow, there's a lot of stuff to do. So would you be confused by this game? Um, at the start, that you might, but in the late, later in the game, you probably won't be confused. And after you've played it one time, are you confused? Probably not, because it's actually a really fun game. Okay, cool. Well, let's take a look at how an age plays. I see that right now you've got it set up for a three-player game because there's three piles of age one cards. Yeah. Okay. How do you? What do you do with your pile of cards? Okay, so you pick it up okay. and look at it. Okay. You choose one of the cards to you and then you put it face down in the first stage. Uh-huh. You pass it to your left. In the second age, pass it to the right. Third age, pass it to the left. Okay, so you pass those to your neighbor? Yeah. Alright, so Caleb, show me the cards that you first had in your age one hand. These are the cards. That's what you had to choose from, huh? And how yeah. do you choose? What does a card mean? Well, this is what what you're building. This is how much it costs. Mm -hmm. This one costs nothing because it has nothing in there. Okay. The blue cards or the ones with leaves and the, and a number inside is how many victory points. Like oh. this is worth two victory points. So what's the center top of the card tells what it does. Okay. Yeah. So what are the others what do the brown and gray cards do? The brown and gray are resources. Okay. This, this produces ore or clay. Okay. But you have to buy it for one coin. So when you build it, you pay one coin. Okay. And if you build it, then you put it under here, and oh. that's your resource stock. Oh, that is cool how those fit together like that. And so you could see how much you produce each turn. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. What about the other cards? The green cards are the development cards. This one takes one glass. This is a trading post. I could buy clay, stone, wood, or, or for one coin to my right. To the neighbor that that arrow is pointing to. Yes. Okay. And why, why is that good? Because if you normally buy a resource from your neighbors, it usually costs two. But for, for my right, I only have to pay one. Oh, okay. These resources. Cool. Okay. And then what's the red card? Military. Ooh. This produces one military. Okay. At the end of each age, uh -huh. you do you put you compare military and with, with everybody. With everybody. With all your with your neighbors. Just the person on your left and right. Yeah. And if you have if in the first stage, if you Lose, then you get negative one. But if you win, you get one. Okay. Second age, lose, you still get negative one. And you get three. Uh-huh. And then in the third age, if you lose, you still get negative one. But you get five if you win. 
So at the end of each age, you compare your military mind with your neighbors and see who wins for points, huh? Yep. Well, that sounds cool. So those are the options in front of you, and you can only pick one of those cards to play each turn. Ooh, yeah. so which one did you choose? I choose the Theodore. Okay. And so when you play it, so then I, you passed all the others to your neighbor. Yeah, but I put it face down. Then I pass them to the left, since it's the first age. Mm -hmm. And then they choose. Okay, so now everybody plays their card they picked. And then we all flip it over. This is a loom. So it goes here, since it's a resource. Okay. This is bath, but it's worth a stone, and none of us has a stone, so we can't buy or get. So he can discard it for three coin. Okay, so if you don't want to play a card, you can discard it to get money. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's another thing you could do with your cards if you don't want to necessarily use them? Something about your wonder board. I could slide it under here, and I have clay. Because that's my main resource. Mm -hmm. But I don't have a loom. So I, so with two coin, I'll buy from him to get, to have a loom for one, one turn to build a wonder. To use his loom, you can buy a resource. So you're able to build that stage of your wonder. And then I got three victory points for doing it. All right, now Caleb, we have just finished a game of Seven Wonders, right? Yeah. And as I look at the table, that looks very full and very confusing. Well, it is confusing, but if you look at one thing at a time, it's actually really easy. But now, this was a three-player game. If you're going to play with a full seven players, you need a lot of space, huh? Yeah, it's Probably going to be way more small. More space. spread out. And how long did the game take that we just played? Uh, about half an hour. And does it last any longer the more players you have? Uh -uh. Oh, because you're all doing the same thing at the same time, right? Yeah, sweet. Okay, well, now that we're at the end of the game, we have to add up points. So you tell me, with how confusing it looks, you tell me how easy it is, okay? Well, there's a scoring pad, so you add up the red. I got 11 for mine. Okay, show me where you find the red score. The, the military is the red. Okay, so the battles you made at the end of each age, that's what this you got. This is 11. Okay, then? Jaden got... Negative three. Because he lost in military. Yeah. yeah. And my dad got ten. Okay. So we add up military. Simple enough. Now what? And then you add the coins. Each three coins you have one victory point. Okay. So I had one victory point, two victory points, three victory points. Jane had six victory points. And my dad had zero victory points. Oh, yeah. I didn't do very good with keeping coin, huh? Nope. Okay. And then the wonder, I got three victory points, because that's all I could get. Because your victory point gives off, your wonder then, only gives off three. Okay. Yeah, and Jaden had ten victory points, and my dad had ten victory points. And what we're looking at is the stage of the wonders you built and looking at the laurels, okay? Yeah. All right, easy enough. And then the blue cards. Okay. How many, I got six. Jaden got 17 and my dad got 19. Okay. For the oh, for the yellowish orange cards. Looks like you're the only one that scored any points yeah, from your yellow cards. Yeah, my dad cards. got zero, Jim got zero, and I got five. Because your yellow card said... One victory point for each yellow card, and that's two, and then one victory point for each one, and that's three. Each stage of the wonder you built. That's five. Nice. Okay. Then? And then it's the guilt. The purple cards. And did anybody uh, do guilds? I got three. Because that cause says... military for each of my neighbors. So any red cards that your neighbors have, you get a victory and point. And one point. Nice. Two point, three points. And Jaden's guilds... And Jaden's guilds... Gave a lot of points. Gave uh, 13 points. And my dad didn't get any. Okay, nice. So we add up all those purple cards. Then the last and one... And then the green cards... I got 26. You like those this game, huh? Yep. My, um, Jaden got one, and my dad got four. So this is the tricky part, the green cards, on how you yeah. score your green cards. And this one adds a lot of points, and that's why it's probably 
bottom of the list because you can score a lot of points this yeah. way. Show me how you scored your points. So if I have, since I have one set of each, yeah, that I got seven points. Okay. And since I bought, I did a window. I chose this. Stone with writing on the it. The stone tablet. And then I had the other seven points, so that's 14. So that means you had really a second stone yeah. tablet there. And then it's two times how many cards I have. Okay. And that's four. And then it's two times four equals four. Two times four equals four. So that's 12. And so I got 26. Wow. So if you had, like that protractor there, if you had five protractor cards, you'd take five times 5, right? Mm -hmm. And you get 25 points. So those are squared. So in the end, the green cards, this game, won the day for you, right? Because what was our final score? Show me. I got 57, Jaden got 43, and Dad got 43. And I won by 14 points. And did you celebrate when you beat me? Yep. Easy. Easy. So Caleb, yeah. what do you think overall of Seven Wonders? Really fun. Really fun? And even you can keep track of all the stuff going on? Mm -hmm. Yeah? That's really unique in how you pass the cards and keep one and make tough decisions each time. Is the game the same every time you play it? No way. Different cards come out? Great. Well, cool. Well, what would you rate Seven Wonders overall? I'd do a 4.75. Wow, a real high score, huh? Nice, quick game. Doesn't take too long. And then it doesn't take too long. All right. Thanks, bud.